Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video from Geomatics. I'm Brent Thorne, and today we're going to be looking at customizing your pop-up windows in the leaflet package in our studio. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created a data frame uh, that has a list of column values, including latitude, longitude, name, score, and video. Uh, for now, we'll focus on name and score, uh, and I'll explain the video column later. If you are wondering how we got to this point, check the link in the top right hand corner and it'll take you to the playlist of all the other tutorial videos um, and check those out and uh, when you feel comfortable come back to this one. So if you've used R before in other projects, um, you're probably familiar with the paste function. Uh, if you're not very familiar with it, you can read up about it a bit uh, in the help menu. Um, uh, but from here on out, I would, I'm going to assume that you know how the, the basics of it work. Um, it is fairly simple to follow along. So um, I'm going to type out paste here. And um, I want to name, uh, I want to use the name and the score um, columns from our data table. Okay. Um, and in the paste function, you need to define a separation value. Um, so for visuals, for, for this time, I'm, I'll use an underscore so you guys can see uh, why you need to define a separation. So I'll run this map. Um, and you can see here that we now have HQ1 and the score value. We also have HQ2 and the score value that represents that as well. So that's great, um, but this isn't necessarily the style that you would want to have in a finished product. So um, let's say we wanted to have a title to this. Um, I'm going to add in a uh, set of text here. Hello world, okay? And I'll run the map, and you guys can see it's there, but it's, it doesn't look too good. What we can actually use is HTML coding um, inside of this, and um, when you when you run the HTML coding, the leaflet package actually uh, converts all of our the R code into JavaScript, which can interpret the um, HTML code that you've written. So um, we can use all the functionality of HTML. Now, if you've never used it before. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to this site. Um, W3Schools is a great place to um, get your feet wet when it comes to um, learning different uh, languages such as HTML or CSS, uh, even JavaScript. Um, it's actually where I uh, went to as my starting point for learning these languages. Um, so definitely check it out. So. Um, from here on out, I'm going to assume that you guys um, can follow along a little bit with HTML. Um, so I'm going to use um, the header uh, brackets here. And excuse me for using improper terminology when it comes to HTML. Um, I don't know it that well. Um, but when we, uh, sorry, when we put it inside of a header, um, the header brackets, um, you can um, have formatting happen for you. Um, it'll bold this text and it'll also separate it um, by entering or returning the any of the information that comes after it. So we'll run this and you'll see what I mean. So you can see hello world is capitalized and we have um, our values on here. Now I'm gonna actually remove the underscore and I'm just gonna put a space. Um, and I'll run this map again. You can see it's a bit cleaner uh, for value. Okay, um, but how are we going to uh, style this even more or make it more appropriate for a user? Well, you probably want to you want to tell your user uh, what they're looking at. Um, so I'm going to add in a new um, section here, and I'm going to type in the text name because that's what they're looking at. I'm going to use a, a colon, and 
if I run this, it's here and it's it has the name value, but um, you probably want to separate the name and score now. So between name and score, I'm going to put in a break. Um, this essentially um, is like en hitting enter for your data. Um, and I didn't run the map. So let's run the map. And you can see there, name HQ1. I will do the same now for um, score. So um, score and I'll run that. Now you can see that looks a bit neater. Um, but I mean, we can take this further and we can actually bold the text that uh, that represents the, I guess, the um, uh, title for each uh, value that they're looking at. And that'll just, it's more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so we see here, whoops, make sure that uh, I close that off. There we go. So now you can see name, HQ1, score, and that has that number. And then if you go to the other one, name is HQ2, score is there. So that's great. Um, but uh, let's say you want to change the color of the title. Um, you can actually still use the inline CSS styling um, that you would do in, in HTML. Um, so what I can do here is I can say style equals, and I'll use single quotations here to not confuse R. And I'm going to say color red. So now when I run this, um, hello world is now red. And um, you guys can take this a lot further than this. I'm just kind of covering the bare bones here. Um, now for the final kind of... Um, interesting thing that you can do with this. Um, the reason why I put in a uh, video column here is that you can actually embed live content into your pop-up windows themselves. And I'm gonna do that here. Um, and I'm just gonna hit enter so it's um, a bit more clear what's going on. Um, I could, um, just enter a single um, iframe text and uh, put it in quotes and it'll, it'll run that fine and, but it would use the same video for each one um, but I want to uh, have a video pop up that represents what's at that point okay now I've just used two videos from this tutorial series to pop up um, so it won't be anything uh, relative to this map actually, but it's just for you guys to see. So I'm gonna type in the name of the, the column, which is video. And now I'm gonna hit um, enter. And this is where some people get stuck. Um, it looks like the video should be there and it's not popping up. So some people kind of get worried. But what you can actually do, um, the, this viewer isn't a live host, so I can't grab uh, information live from the internet. But you can hit this button here, and it'll take you to your default browser, and it will run your script, um, what you're viewing, in a live host that it's made um, on your computer. So now I can click on this um, icon here, and you can see the videos popped up, and that one is the introduction video. And just to show you guys that it does change as it clicks, this is the adding markers video. And they are fully functional uh, inside of here. And you can change um, different values um, within them. Like in, in YouTube, you can set different uh, uh, parameters to your uh, iframe HTML. <laughs> um, so it sounds like a lot, but uh, really it's just a little bit of time of uh, figuring out how large of a video uh, you would want like 300 uh, pixels by I think it's 116 um, is what it defaults to 
when you use 300. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any uh, questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Um, I will um, try to keep posting more videos, but if you guys let me know what you want me to cover um, or any questions you have about Leaflet um, or even any other kind of um, mapping or geomatics related um, kind of tutorials in R, um, let me know. Let me know in the, in the comments below. Um, and if you like this video, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. But if you loved it, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.